When you meditate on the Word of God, your brains work at its best. No gift can replace the giver of the gift. Intelligence is a gift from God, but was never given to you to replace God. You are about to receive secret keys to have success in your tests, examinations, and interviews. Every true Christian is at advantage whenever they face tests, examinations, and interviews, because the Holy Spirit teaches us all things. How can we utilize such tremendous opportunity? Get ready for change as you join Apostle Edmund Zakwaraday as he teaches how to function in good success and true confidence. Pray and say the confession in this video before your tests, exams, or interviews. You are a success. Congratulations in advance. Don't go away, atmosphere of love will continue shortly. And today in person of Jesus, I learned, you know, like uh, the right way of praying. So what the relation we have, you know, to our Abba Father through Jesus. So he acts as a mediator to us. And the most striking thing was like, uh, uh, as Pastor Jonah was telling, when we pray to God through Jesus' name, it is like Jesus himself is talking, you know, on behalf of us. So that was really like, uh, I really loved that when she said it. Uh, that was about person of Jesus and the word foundation. When uh, Sister Esther is telling, uh, the one thing what I really liked it about the words what we speak. So life and death are in the power of tongue, so I strongly believe it. But today I came to know even when we speak, even the spirits follow. So what we speak, the spirit that follows. So I decided even the decision I have written like uh, from today I am going to speak life, even in my life, even in others life. I want to speak life how much ever is possible. So it was a blessing to me on the word. This was uh, knowing Jesus as a person, I knew how to pray and uh, all these days I have been following the fo same format, the Lord's Prayer and sometimes I would speak but I would just uh, go on confusing me between directly addressing Jesus and Father. Today I learned and I also uh, Pastor showed the example of how Jesus prayed in John 17 and with all those uh, examples I would like to correct the way I uh, speak to uh, an address Father when I call and uh, that my prayer should be focused uh, uh, to God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, in the second uh, session, Word Foundation, I really knew where I was. I was the same way, like uh, using, uh, not knowing the value of my words. Even uh, now I understand in different areas of my life, even the negative things that I say, that's what has been active in my parents, family, mine, and even in my career and uh, life. So now I would like to correct myself and I understand knowing God meditating on his word confessing and uh, taking action would uh, and the thirst for the word would definitely uh, reveal more things to me and i would like to act on it Th thank you This is Atmosphere of Love. The next few minutes will revolutionize your thinking and change your life. Now let's join Apostle Edmund Zocorde as he ministers God's love in a hurting world. When you meditate on the Word of God, your brains work at its best. No gift can replace the giver of the gift. Intelligence is a gift from God, but was never given to you to replace God. You are about to receive secret keys to have success in your tests, examinations, and interviews. Every true Christian is at advantage whenever they face tests, examinations, and interviews, because the Holy Spirit teaches us all things. How can we utilize such tremendous opportunity? 
Get ready for change as you join Apostle Edmund Zakwaraday as he teaches how to function in good success and true confidence. Pray and say the confession in this video before your tests, exams, or interviews. You are a success. Congratulations in advance. Hello, this is Apostle Edmonds here and I'm here to pray with you especially for whatever situation that you're facing right now and especially those who are writing examinations. But before I do, I want to read a scripture to you, a couple of scriptures. The first scripture I want to read to you is about the Holy Spirit. If you're born again, whether you're facing an interview or you're facing an examination or you're facing some test that is uh, required for you for a promotion in your job or any test in this world, you are at advantage. I want to prove that to you from scriptures to lift your faith so that as your faith is lifted up, you'll be able to function as God wants you to function in that interview, in your exams, and in that test that you're supposed to do before either gaining an admission or gaining something that you need to do. I'll read this for you. John's Gospel, chapter number... 14 verse 26 says but the comforter talking about the holy spirit but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things this is beautiful so there is not a thing that the holy spirit doesn't know the holy spirit will teach us all things the bible says he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance beautiful you know uh number of times people study to go for the interview and when they sit before the panel of the people who interview them they lost the knowledge because of tension because they feel they they are before a set of knowledgeable people and they are so conscious of the people more than they are conscious of who they are don't be that way when you walk into your uh, interview room and you want to be interviewed be conscious of who you are. Today I'm going to read a scripture for you. You have understanding more than your teachers, the Bible says. And when you go to such things, you get that kind of confession right. You, you stir up yourself. If you receive baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of speaking in new tongues, you speak in new tongues before you go for that interview. You'll be red hot in your spirit. And more than knowledge, more than experience, more than expertise, more than anything that you think you have within you. The favor of God is more, better, and superseding that. Because the favor of God has shown several times that it is not by knowledge, it is not by skill, it is not by ability, but it's from the hand of God. However, if you are a student, you cannot lean on, not on uh, favor only. You cannot lean on favor and then play around and... Uh, Pray and only talk in tongues and, uh, and do whatever you want to do. And then time for examination, you say favor of God. Favor of God doesn't work that way. Favor of God does not produce laziness in the lives of the children of God. So here the Bible says the Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance. If you did not know before, what will the Holy Spirit bring to your remembrance? You have to know for the Holy Spirit to bring to your remembrance. However, in this verse... 26 he said whatsoever i have commanded you so this is the place of meditation when you are preparing for your exam you're preparing for your test you're preparing for whatever you are preparing for you have to meditate on the word of god yes you have to study god. you have to study your books and you have to study your syllabus you have to cover it up but you have to study god's word god's word is the one that will bring to your remembrance holy spirit will bring to your remembrance so here he says i read it i finish it up he shall teach you all things. I take a deep breath each time I see this line because we, a lot of things are in our lives. Lots of things. Lots of things. But here the Holy Spirit says, He shall teach you all things. Jesus says about the Holy Spirit. So there is not one thing He would not teach you. That wife out there and that, that friend, that boy out there, He'll teach you how to be a true son. He'll teach you how to be a true husband. He'll teach you how to be a true wife. Holy Spirit teaches all things. Mm, beautiful. And bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have commanded 
you. That's what the Bible says. I read another wonderful scripture, so don't forget this one. He brings to your remembrance. He brings to your remembrance. Now, in Psalm 119, verse 99. Psalm 119, verse 99. It says, I have more understanding than all my teachers. Mm. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For thy testimonies are my meditation. So this is the reason why this fellow has more understanding than his teachers. Because he meditates on the word of God. Your body was created by God. So when you meditate on the word of God, your body works at its best, including your brain. When you meditate on God's word, you see, when you are doing your exams, it's not time to keep Bible in one place. And for two, three weeks or two, three months, you don't touch the Bible. All you do is just jack and jack and jack and jack your textbooks and look at your syllabus and cover it up. You are not a fool. Only fool act like that. When you study your syllabus and you study your textbook, the first thing you have to study, you have to meditate on the word of God. The word of God created your body. When you meditate on the word of God, your body works at its best. Your brain functions at its best. This is the thing the Spirit of God is saying to you. So don't put Bible aside. Say, that's for Bible study. On Wednesday or on Tuesday, whatever day that may be in your church, I'm, I'm coming for the Bible. No. You are watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We will be right back. And today in person of Jesus, I learned, you know, like uh, the right way of praying. So what the relation we have, you know, to our Abba Father through Jesus. So he acts as a mediator to us. And the most striking thing was like, uh, uh, as Pastor Jonah was telling, when we pray to God through Jesus' name, it is like Jesus himself is talking, you know, on behalf of us. So that was really like, uh, I really loved that when she said it. Uh, that was about person of Jesus and the word foundation when uh, sister Esther was telling uh, the one thing what I really liked it about the words what we speak so life and death are in the power of tongue so I strongly believe it but today I came to know even when we speak even the spirits follow so what we speak the spirit that follows so I decided even the decision I have written like uh, from today I am going to speak life even in my life even in others life I want to speak life how much ever is possible so it was a blessing to me on the word this was uh, knowing Jesus as a person I knew how to pray and uh, all these days I have been following the for same format the Lord's Prayer and sometimes I would speak but I would just uh, go on confusing me between directly addressing Jesus and Father today I learned and I also uh, pastor showed the example of how Jesus prayed in John 17 and with all those uh, examples I would like to correct the way I uh, speak to uh, an address father when I call and uh, that my prayer should be focused uh, uh, to God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and uh, in the second uh, session word foundation I really knew where I was I was the same way like uh, you saying uh, not knowing the value of my words even uh, now I understand in different areas of my life even the negative things that I say that's what has been active in my parents family mine and even in my career and uh, life so now I would like to correct myself and I understand knowing God meditating on his word confessing and uh, taking action would uh, and the thirst for the word would definitely uh, reveal more things to me and I would like to act on it Th thank you satisfy the human heart money cannot satisfy the human heart pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart comfort cannot satisfy the human heart nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God is the Word of God made flesh God's Word made flesh and he walked the earth and he faced the things that we're facing passed through the difficulties that we passed through and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was sinless. 
the seed of God's word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. This is Atmosphere of Love. Welcome back, let's join Apostle Edmund Zokorde as he continues to share the message of God's love. When you meditate on the Word of God, your brains work at its best. No gift can replace the giver of the gift. Intelligence is a gift from God, but was never given to you to replace God. You are about to receive secret keys to have success in your tests, examinations, and interviews. Every true Christian is at advantage whenever they face tests, examinations, and interviews, because the Holy Spirit teaches us all things. How can we utilize such tremendous opportunity? Get ready for change as you join Apostle Edmund Zakwarade as he teaches how to function in good success and true confidence. Pray and say the confession in this video before your tests, exams, or interviews. You are a success. Congratulations in advance. When you meditate on God's word, you see, when you are doing your exams, it's not time to keep Bible in one place. And for two, three weeks or two, three months, you don't touch the Bible. All you do is just jack and jack and jack and jack your textbooks and look at your syllabus and cover it up. You are not a fool. Only fool act like that. When you study your syllabus and you study your textbook, the first thing you have to study, you have to meditate on the word of God. The word of God created your body. When you meditate on the word of God, your body works at its best. Your brain functions at its best. This is the thing the Spirit of God is saying to you. So don't put Bible aside. Say that's for Bible study on Wednesday or on Tuesday, whatever day that may be in your church. I'm, I'm coming for the Bible. No, not like that. When you want to study your books, first thing that goes into your mind is God's word. You meditate on it. You say, okay, pastor, which word I will meditate on? I'm just giving you one now. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation. When I was schooling, no one told me this, that God's word, when you meditate on God's word, God's word is what will make your body capable of doing what it should do in your studies. Some people, they are smart in their studies, uh, you know, just like that. They have that kind of gift in them. Now, those people may feel, well, I can study. Uh, um, I don't need to meditate on the word of God for me to study well. One thing, I have seen very intelligent people, when they fail, they get very humbled. I pray you don't get, I pray you don't fail and be humbled to study the word of God. No gift can replace the giver of the gift. When you are intelligent, it's a gift. That cannot replace God who gave you the gift. You cannot say because you are intelligent, others are not so intelligent. They should meditate on the word of God before they study their textbook. You don't need to meditate on the word of God because you are intelligent. I pray you don't fail woefully. When you fail woefully, you will see the need of God's word and it will humble you. 
That's my prayer. So whether you are intelligent or whether you are not so smart in your studies, meditating on God's word, put your body in active position to perform at its best when you do that. Now, I want to read this for you. He said, verse 99, I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimony are my meditation. The word of God is my meditation. Testimony is my meditation. What did he say concerning you? He said, you are born of God. That's your testimony. You meditate on that. You meditate on that. Look at verse 100. You would like this. I repeat, I'm reading Psalm 119, verse 99 and 100. Now I'm reading 100. It says, I understand more than the ancients. This is beyond human understanding. I understand more than the ancient because I keep thy precepts. He said, because your word is in me, my understanding is beyond my grandfather, is beyond my age, is beyond my time. I have understanding because I keep your precepts. God's precepts always keep you on top. One last verse, and that's 2 Timothy chapter hmm, 1, verse 7. Most of you who have been around uh, the Christian uh, you know, environment, you know this verse from a very young age. Verse 7 reads, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now there is something called examination fever. And that came as a result of people's experience. And um, I would like to name a new one also. There is an interview fever. When people go for interview, they get very, very tensed. You see their, their palm becomes cold. Their face changes the color. Why? Because you are so conscious that they are going to be questioned so many things, more than who they are. They are conscious of what they are not. They are, they are conscious of their incapability. And most of them leave that interview place disappointed. Leave that interview place cast down. I have less time. I would have shared with you my interview when I got saved, how I attended my interview. The same thing I'm telling you here, I put to work. I spoke in other tongues. I have received the Holy Spirit that time. And I have received the gift of speaking in other tongues. So I spoke in other tongues. Anything that makes you fear. Office work. Interview. Test. Examination. Anything that puts fear in you. Quote that verse. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. I have not received the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. And you declare, I have a sound mind. When you declare like this, those situation, that atmosphere will change. Are you ready to pray? I know your spirit is stirred up as you heard the scriptures. Don't forget, don't be more conscious about your environment than you are conscious about who you are in Christ Jesus. No matter who you are standing before, be conscious of who you are. Remember David, he was standing before Goliath. A giant, a man of war. He didn't think about him. He thought about the covenant he had with God. And he said, you uncircumcised Philistine. That's a covenant word. Because he was uncircumcised according to the law of, uh, uh, according to the covenant given to Abraham to circumcise all the male children according to the covenant. So David addressed the giant Goliath. He said, you uncircumcised Philistine uncircumcised Philistine. By that confession, David defeated Goliath before he killed Goliath. Why? Outside covenant is outside God. And when you are outside God and you are against people who are in the covenant, you have already positioned yourself for failure. Because one with God is majority. When one is with God, he is more than you that is with, that is with thousands. So when you go for your interview, when you go for your exams, I send you with power. I pray for you. Stretch your hands this way as I pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare your word over everyone at the sound of this short segment of success in their tests, exams, interviews, in any requirement that is required for them to get to the next level. It could be promotion. I speak in the name of Jesus. The time has come for you to get out of that, that timidity of fear into the realm of the fearless ones and you speak your identity of who you are. I command that lion tribe that you belong to by faith to begin to manifest in your life. 
boldness, boldness. I command boldness to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command timidity to come out from you and boldness to manifest out of you. Timidity to lose his grip from you and boldness to manifest out of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every spirit that brings doubt that you did not prepare properly for your interview, that you did not prepare properly for your exams, I break the power of such accusation and guilt. I declare success is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Success is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you are a success. God made you a success. And as you go, you will manifest that success. You, the Holy Spirit brings to your remembrance everything that you need to remember. And you write with boldness, with confidence, you are not alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Now, you pray that prayer. I'll lead you in this confession. You say, I have a sound mind. You say, I have understanding. But you see, we always say, I don't understand. When you say you don't understand, that's what it is. But this time you're going to say, I have a sound mind. I have understanding. And you say the last one, you say, I have favor with God and favor with men. Now, it doesn't matter what the lecturer is or what the CEO is or what the company is. If you have favor with God and favor with men, you are already selected. I congratulate you in advance and I want to get your testimony and your emails about your flying colors of success in your interviews, in your career, in every situation that you're facing. This is Apostle Edmund saying to you, Jesus is Lord. This concludes today's episode of Atmosphere of Love. You Praise the Lord. Of God. Uh, knowing Jesus as a person, I knew how to pray and uh, all these days I have been following the fo same format, the Lord's Prayer and sometimes I would speak but I would just uh, go on confusing me between directly addressing Jesus and Father. Today I learned and I also uh, Pastor showed the example of how Jesus prayed in John 17 and with all those uh, examples I would like to correct the way I uh, speak to uh, and address Father when I call and uh, that my prayer should be focused uh, uh, to God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Or partner with us type www.worldsalvation.org and there you are in the page under donation click on eom partnership here the page displays eom online partnership you click on the right options and don't forget to click on the browse button and select your clear picture and click submit and you get a thank you response that easy to become a partner with us in preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That easy. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. For more information, please visit our website www.ohoro.org or write us via email office at ohoro.org or call number plus 9181479087318731. Don't miss our next broadcast. Remember everything without love is nothing. Jesus is Lord.